Hey, welcome folks. Happy to have you back with us. And this one I decided to do a little differently than usual. Instead of showing you what happened during the trade, I'm going to show you what happened before the trade, how I prepared for the trade. And I don't know if you guys keep on having a quick look at all the analysts showing their watch lists every morning. But um, if you saw my watch list, there was only one ticker and it was Tesla. Uh, following the FOMC minutes this morning as of many Thursdays and following um, news on jobless claims on, again, Thursday, we had a bearish morning. We had a huge drop. SPY came down huge. And a lot of tickers followed. But what I like to look at is tickers that have been beaten up. And this is the four hour chart and I'm going to show you, this is the MACD. And if you look at the bottom on the um, stochastic momentum index, we're still really low. And the RSI is touching the lower, the lower line. I prefer, and now I showed you the four hour, but I really like to look at the one hour chart. One hour chart, same thing. Look at the stochastic, how low it is here at the bottom. This is at the open today. Um, I'm going to put this line here. This is at the open or just minutes before the open. So basically, when it's 8 or 9, I don't know what time you prepare your trade, but your, uh, your trading day, but look at it. We're really low on the stochastic and we're really low on the RSI. And we're talking low 24 in, on the one hour on the RSI is pretty low. So we can expect a bounce from here. Um, a bounce like it could just move back up a little bit to um, put the pressure back on the, uh, the sellers. So buyers are going to step in. So we're going to see a move up. So basically... What I like to look at is where we're standing. And if you see here, on, when we look back, this is pretty much where we were, around 625-ish or so. Sorry, I'm having a hard time here putting it at 625-ish, but you know, let's pretend this is 625. So you see that there's this high on this point and then it's struggling to get up it doesn't and then boom it gets through so we know that this was previously resistance and now it becomes support and if you look at the five minute chart just before the day started this is pretty much what happened it bounced right on that support so you know that if we get under that, we're, st we're stepping into bearish territory, seller's territory. Now, if you were long on Tesla since you bought it from, let's say, in the 500s, and you have a stop loss from, from the day before, that, you know, the day started four days ago in the 700, and then it's coming down, it's coming down, so you're sick of it, and you put a stop loss, let's say, yesterday around 640, when it opens this morning, what happens? It just triggers, and this is what exactly what happened at the bell. It triggered, it flushed, but straight up, it went back up, right? So, you have two scenarios here. This was a trading plan, and this is what I said in, in, in the watch list. So let me draw that again. I said 625 is support. And what I like, and you know you've seen my videos before, I like to look at the pre-market high, see what happens. And right away, basically I expected, you know, this, this is what happened, and then it started moving up past this point, and literally past this point. I thought we would get this and move on again like this, but not. SPY decided not to move that way, volume decided to die here, look at that, okay? So I decided to enter here as it broke the pre-market high, thinking it would 
do a Tesla move like it often does. You know, you don't even have time to, to get in. However, what happened was it retested support, 625 support. Obviously, 625 would have been a much better entry on that support, dead on, you know, very precise. So with Tesla or in any other trade, you have two choices. Either you get in quickly when it takes off above pre-market high, or you wait for a pullback, and this pullback was dead on previous support. Now, this is what happened. This is why I decided to stay in the trade, even though, you know, we started being pretty red at this point. But this, you know, that if we start flushing below this point, what happens is we're stepping into bearish side, bearish territory, meaning that all these guys supporting and buying are no longer there. So basically, you would have been stopped out or you set your stop right there. And it bounced and then it became the um, back to green. However, the idea was to find a clear um, target. And you've seen my videos before, I'm sure. And if you haven't, well, look for previous support. We had one right here. There was support right here, first line of support. And if I recall, it was 642-ish or close to that. Um, sorry, this was in 640. And this is the line I called. Basically, you knew yesterday Tesla boom and bang on it, bang and bang, bang, even after mar after hours, and was still holding this line. So basically, I'm expecting not to find any buyers until we find that line. We find that those buyers on the other side of the line, we're still below the line. So basically, this is where it took the first the, the first profit. And then, let me get rid of all this. We all know that this is the line that yesterday, you know, it bounced on this and then it, it was support and now it becomes resistance. Uh, my line is a little high, but you see what I mean here. It becomes resistance and pretty much this was the area where I was expecting the um, second target. And I said, if we break that, well, we're going to go a little higher, which we did. And you see after Mark was still, um, after hours, we were ready to get, move a little higher. So in the end, to sum it up, what I looked for when I started the day was first, why are we down? Why are we down on the market? And how far is the reaction? The reaction was really strong and we were extremely down from yesterday's close on spot. Too much? I believe so. And who's affected? It could have been other any other trades, but this one I felt was a little affected too much. So you look at RSI. RSI, I like the stochastic momentum index. It's an I. Stochastic Momentum Index. I like to look at both here to see where we're standing on the one hour chart. And then look third, support. Are we on old support? Sometimes, look, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna show you the chart, but I was looking at uh, Facebook and Facebook, I was expecting a pullback to the 640 line. And we, I believe we only went down to 642. So basically I was hoping and hoping for a pullback to 640 and never got it. And then it started moving back up again. So basically here we were on my support line and I didn't expect it to, didn't expect the whole thing to drop any further down. Um, have a, my, my entry point was either break of pre-market or on support. Unfortunately, I was a little early, but always have a target. And the target was either to move back up to the old buyers. And this is what we did. We started from the bottom and moved back up to the, to the old buyers. You've seen, I don't know if this is the first video you're actually watching or if this is the third time you're watching the same one, but a move back up to the old buyers 
is a safe area where you can take profit. It might move a little further. See, we, we went a little further on this one, but it's a safe exit as it is seen by a lot of other people as resistance. So I hope this is helping and I guess I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.